Matthew Flinders is one of Australia's most famous explorers. He was the first person to circumnavigate the continent and gave Australia its name. Flinders was at Chenes between November 1800 and May 1801 while his ship, the Investigator, was being refitted. This included having a bottom recoppered, additional cabins for the scientists and space for plant specimens added and being equipped for a three year voyage. Like Captain Cook, the ship of choice for the expedition was a robust collier, but unlike Cook's ships, which were comparatively newly built, the investigator was much older and prone to leak. Flinders took command of the investigator at Chenes and was promoted to the rank of commander. While the investigator was laying at Chenes awaiting sailing orders, in a letter written from Chenes, Flinders proposed to his sweetheart Anne Chappell and they were married. During the refit, newly married Flinders had his wife with him on board the investigator. The voyage was expected to take several years and Flinders intended to take his wife with him to Sydney and leave her there while he circumnavigated Australia. But the Admiralty took a dim view of this and she remained in England. He would not see her again for nine years. In December of 1801, Matthew Flinders set out to circumnavigate and chart the coastline of Australia. Flinders would name Australian geographical features after his Shenis friends. Coffin Bay was named after Vice Admiral Sir Isaac Coffin, resident naval commissioner at Shenis, who had given assistance in equipping the investigator. Coffin was notorious for knocking down half of Bluetown High Street to build the dockyard wall. Mount Greenlee and Greenlee Islands were named after the lady to whom Sir Isaac Coffin was engaged. Point Whidbey and Whidbey Islands were named after my worthy friend, the master attendant at Shenis. Joseph Whidbey assisted Flinders with the provisioning of stores for the investigator. John Franklin, also at Shenis, was a midshipman on the investigator. Franklin would later become Lieutenant Governor of Tasmania and he would lead the ill-fated Franklin Arctic Expedition. Matthew Flinders' grave lost for 200 years and was thought to be under Platform 4 of Euston Station has recently been rediscovered. In Australia, a mountain range, national parks, universities, main streets and many other features are named after Matthew Flinders. One of Australia's greatest explorers, his famous expedition set forth from Chenesse.